Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this hat. The stitch that we're going to make this hat with is the Alpine stitch. It's actually a variation from the original Alpine stitch, and it's very easy to make. Now, the hat that we're going to make in the tutorial is for boys and girls between four and six years old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from two years old and up to 10 years old. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Okay, let's get started, but first, don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Okay, to make this beanie hat, I'll be using this H hook. This is a five millimeter hook, and today I'm using this medium number four yarn. This is the yarn that I'm using, it's yarn B. This here is a number four yarn. With this white color, I'm going to make the brim, and then the rest of the hat, I'm going to use this light pink color. So here to begin, I have 60 chains. Now you can also make this hat for any size, any age. Just measure the head circumference to, uh, for the person that you're making this for. And then based on that, you just go ahead and make your chain. The important thing here for the chain is that it's in multiples of two. So here to begin, I have 60 chains. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to join to the first chain. So I'm going to go ahead and do this so that the chain is not twisted. Insert your hook through the first chain and grab a loop and join. Now I'm going to chain one and into this same stitch, which is the first chain and the first one where we joined, I'm going to make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to make half double crochets. Continue like this to the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 60 half double crochets. Now to finish this first row and all the rows to follow, you're just going to go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now from here on, we're going to make front post and back post half double crochets. So to start each row, we're going to do a total of four rows. You're going to chain one and beginning here, this is the first half double crochet. I'm going to make a front post half double crochet into the next, a back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet and so on. I'm just going to continue all around, alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet. Now to finish each row from here on, you're just going to go on top of the first half double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then do the same thing. Like I said, we're going to do this for a total of four rows. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row. Okay, I finished making my brim. This is what it looks like. Now here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. Now in total, I did three rows of front post and back post half double crochets, and then this first row here of just half double crochets. So the brim is all done. Now what I'm going to do next is we're going to flip this around. From now on, this is going to be the bottom of the hat, so we're going to go right here. This is where I have the beginning of the chain, that's the first chain right there. So just pick a spot right in the middle of two half double crochets. For me, I'm going to insert my hook right here. This is where we started, so I'm just going to go right here. Any spot will do. Uh, this here is just going to be the back side, so that's why I'm going to go here. Now, with a new color, grab a loop here, bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same space here, make a half double crochet. Now, between the next two half double crochets, make a half double crochet. Between the next two, a half double crochet, and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to start counting rows as well. So this is going to be row one. So continue like this all around, just making half double crochets in between the half double crochets. 
and then I'll meet you here at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where I did half double crochets all around. Up to here, I have 59 half double crochets and I still have two spaces. If I make my last half double crochet here and then join, there's going to be a gap. So I don't want that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to yarn over, insert your hook into this first space, grab a loop, take two loops off leave two loops on the hook yarn over again insert your hook into the last space here grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close now this stitch here counts as one half double crochet so now i have 60 half double crochets to finish go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch and here's the first row now in the next row row two we're going to start our pattern stitch i'm going to use the alpine stitch to make this little hat and actually this is going to be a variation of the alpine stitch it's very easy it just consists of two rows so here for the first First row to this pattern this is what we're going to do we're going to chain one now into this first half double crochet which is the same one where I join with a slip stitch make a double crochet now into the next half double crochet right here I'm going to yarn over insert your hook like this through the back grab a loop take two loops off yarn over again insert your hook again like this through the back grab a loop i have four loops on the hook take two loops off three loops on the hook close now yarn over on top of the next half double crochet make a double crochet yarn over again into the next half double crochet we're going to do the same stitch here so insert your hook like this through the back grab a loop take two loops off leave two loops yarn over insert your hook again take two loops off three loops on the hook close we're going to alternate between a regular double crochet and then this alpine stitch so here yarn over on top of the next half double crochet make a double crochet yarn over into the next half double crochet take two loops off yarn over take two loops off three loops close now here yarn over again on top of the next half double crochet make a double crochet and into the next work the stitch take two loops off yarn over take two loops off three loops close and then on top of the next make a double crochet yarn over again into the next half double crochet work your alpine stitch like that on top of the next make a double crochet yarn over skip this half double crochet and into the next work your alpine stitch And that's all and that's what it looks like now continue like this all around and i'll meet you here at the end of this second row i'm here at the end of this second row this is our first row to this pattern so here at the end i need to finish with the alpine stitch so i'm going to yarn over this last stitch here has two legs i'm going to make this stitch into the first leg so right here take two loops off yarn over close and here's the last stitch now to finish this row go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish this second row now for the third row we're going to chain one this is actually going to be the second row to our pattern so i already did the first row when we started the first row to this pattern i did a double crochet so in this row i need to make this alpine stitch so i'm going to yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook like this through the first double crochet, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, three loops, close. Now on top of the next stitch, make a double crochet. And then into the double crochet that we did in the previous row, I'm going to work this stitch. Work 
on top of the next stitch make a double crochet and then into the next double crochet work your alpine stitch yarn over on top of the next stitch make a double crochet yarn over into the next double crochet work your alpine stitch again yarn over on top of the next stitch make a double crochet yarn over into the next double crochet work your alpine stitch and that's all we're going to do for this row that's what it looks like continue and i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this third row. This is actually the second row to our pattern. Here at the end, I finished this row by making a double crochet on top of the last stitch here. So to finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're always just going to go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished this row. We're always going to have 60 stitches from here on, and you're going to repeat these two rows. Again, the only difference between these two rows is the way that you start each row in the previous row I started with this alpine stitch now in this next row I need to start with a double crochet so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain one and into this same stitch where I join with a slip stitch I'm going to make a double crochet now into the next stitch which is this double crochet I'm going to work my alpine stitch or the imitation alpine stitch close on top of the next stitch make a double crochet and into the double crochet here make your alpine stitch on top of the next stitch make a double crochet and into the next stitch which is a double crochet work your alpine stitch and this is all we're going to do from here on just repeat these two rows I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do but continue watching I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do so I will meet you at the end of that row okay so far I have done nine rows we have one two three four five six seven eight nine rows if we count the first row I have ten rows and it's measuring 15 centimeters which is about six inches now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start shaping the crown of the hat and to do this I'm going to change hook size I'm using the five millimeter so I'm going to go down half a hook size so I'm going to use this 4.5 millimeter hook now if you're making this hat using a different hook size to make it smaller or bigger just go down half a hook size from whichever hook size you started with also if you're making this hat for any other size start to reduce once you have one and a half to two inches left from the total height so here to continue chain one now for me I have to start this row with the alpine stitch so I'm going to go ahead and do that so here's the first alpine stitch then on top of the alpine stitch make a double crochet and so on continue i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do from here on and before i forget i'm going to go ahead and put a stitch marker here to mark the beginning of this row that way i can tell you how many rows i'm going to do so continue watching and i will let you know how many rows i'm going to do um, using this 4.5 millimeter hook so I will meet you at the end of that row okay I did a total of two rows using this 4.5 millimeter crochet hook so in total I have 11 rows of this pattern stitch the last two rows were with this 4.5 millimeter hook now for the next row what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and here for me here's a double crochet so I have to start with this uh, alpine stitch so what I'm going to do instead of making the double alpine stitch I'm just going to make a front post double crochet on top of the alpine stitch make a normal double crochet then into the next double crochet make a front post double crochet so double crochet front post double crochet this is going to make the top of the hat less bulky so that when we close it it's you know it looks nice here at the top so this is all I'm going to do for this third row using this 4.5 millimeter hook so continue and I will meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this third row using this 4.5 millimeter hook here to finish go on top of the first 
stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now for the next row, chain one, and here I'm going to make double crochet decreases. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch where we did the slip stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, go on top of the next double crochet, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over into the next two, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, three loops, close. This is all we're going to do for this furrow. We're just going to work these double crochet decreases all around. So continue, finish this fourth row, and I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have 30 stitches. Now to finish, go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now for the next row, we're going to do the same thing. So chain one, yarn over into the next two stitch, insert your hook, take two loops off, yarn over, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, we're going to work these double crochet decreases all around. So continue and I will meet you at the end of this fifth row. Okay, I finished making this last row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning, cut my yarn, and now what I'm going to do is just pull this loop like this and I'm going to tie a knot. Now at the end of this last row, I have 15 stitches. I'm not going to reduce anymore. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pass my yarn through this needle and we're going to close the top of the hat. So I'm going to go through the first one, skip one and into the next skip one and into the next, skip one and into the next, insert your needle. That's all I'm going to do all around. Perfect, I'm going to go through this last one too. Now insert your needle through the inside here, turn your hat over, And now just pull this string here and with this loop that we made, just tie a knot. And that's all. Your hat is tied. Cut your yarn. Turn it over. And here's the top of the hat. That's what it looks like. There it is. Now, this hat is all done, and that's what it looks like. This is where we were joining at the end of every row. Nope, that's not it. Right here. This is where we were joining at the end of every row, and as you can see, you can barely see it. I absolutely love, love this stitch. Look at that texture. It's absolutely beautiful and nice and thick, perfect for the winter. Comment below and let me know if you want me to make the adult version of this hat. I think I'm going to do one for myself. It's absolutely beautiful. There it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a pump on here on this hat, just like this. Now many of you ask me where I purchase my pompons. I always get them from Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave the link to where um, to the seller in the information box so that you can buy them if you like. So this hat here is all done. Now, as you know, this hat is for a child between four and six years old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm also going to go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it. I'd say from two to four years old and up to 10 years old. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.